there's something about this beach, man. I, I, I guess it has been attracting showmen and artists from all around the world for a long for time. Years. You know, like ch people juggling chainsaws, like crazy stuff, man. And we just fit perfect into the, to the environment. I'm from Vienna, Austria. I'm half Nigerian. Basically been the only black kid until I was like 15 or 16. So it's a often untold story, but if you're the only minority somewhere, you're just getting picked on. And uh, you know, n nigga was one of the nice things people said to me. And the gym gave me a good outlet for, for my, my potential and my aggression. And uh, you know, that I isolatedness a little bit. And I just, kept working out, working out until I grew like to, to a monstrous uh, appearance. And I grew out of that, you know, like a rose out of concrete. At that time I was studying chemistry. And a friend comes up to me, you know, and helps me out a little bit financially and tells me, come to Venice, California, Muscle Beach, come here, you gotta go there. The dream that many people have, I think, like being famous and moving out here to California and uh, just living that American dream. always knew about Muscle Beach since a little boy. But when I finally just like let go of everything else I was doing in my life, which was really unnecessary, I've, you know, I, I came here. I, I pretty much didn't have nowhere to stay, actually, the first year or two. I didn't, I just didn't care about that. I felt like that wasn't important, you know. Um, I felt like the more important thing to do was to do it because it was keeping me happy. We were just working out, staying in the van, working out, coming back. That's when we came up with the Defenders why, because we, you know, like he said, anything else didn't even happen and it didn't even matter that we didn't have a house in the shower because we were just like two soldiers, like for a purpose, down for a purpose and we had each other. People would have the fear, fear of homelessness. It's like, you know, we still alive, we still got our bodies. That's why we say our body is our kingdom. We have an apartment now, and we kind of like, we don't really bump heads, but just living with anybody. Sometimes somebody's gonna leave something out or living in the van. I don't think there's ever a time where we like really argued, you know? No. We just knew what we had to do to get to where we had to get. It's like a muscle theme park. It's a, it's Muscle Beach. It's a, it's a place where you can display your body in an open environment. It's kind of like a place to get free motivation. Once you meet someone out here, they become more of your like family. These people are so uh, touched by you if you give them a little attention and, and, and pull them to the side and take a picture that it, sometimes it all makes you break out in tears, you know? You have to hold it back because it's just so moving, you know? If uh, a person accepts what you're trying to give them, you know? The ocean draws people regardless to it, you know? Yeah. And it's doing nothing but rocking back and forth. You know, it's it's something in here you can't really explain. It humbles you. You know, that's a lot of water yeah, out there. Yeah, because you're nothing. Just looking at it, it's yeah, <laughs> nothing compared to that power. Some type yeah. of gravitational pull, pulling people, and you know, it, 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 it's definitely some type of magic here. 